you have a lot of plants or just a little patio in the back, this is going to be a great addition. All three colors. All right, well, we have to wrap this up because we are at 11 o'clock, which means we are in hour number two. Uh, it's a huge customer pick. I want you to write down the number. If you're asking your partner, can we get the bike, please? All right, 735-595. Is the item number on sale, too? They even put it on sale. We didn't have to put this on I sale. Know, this I would know. sell for $69. You know it would. Absolutely. All right. What? Where are we going? All right, Deb, hang around. Okay. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I got to walk over to the mailbox. Is that where I'm going? Hey, guy. What? You've got mail. All right, I'll get the mail. Look, the thing's up. That's... I'm supposed to put that up when I'm sending mail out. All right, so the question that we asked before, if you could grow one thing in your garden that you could eat, what would it be? Anita, she says, uh, when I downsize my garden, I have to grow tomatoes and cukes. I love, I love growing a salad. You know what I mean? Just grow a salad. Go outside and make a salad. Uh, Annie says, tomatoes, green beans. I just can't choose. I love them equally. It's like choosing your favorite child. And uh, let's see. Tony says, tomatoes. Greg, we got a guy out there saying, I'm a guy in the garden, and if I had one edible plant to grow, it would be grapes. <laughs> yeah. Get yourself a vineyard. Uh, anyway, cheers back to you uh, as well. Uh, hey, I'm going to do a quick promotion. Put the thing down. Uh, come on over. Where is it? Back here? All right. So, probably my number one product I've ever bought at HSN. You hear me say that all the time. It's our Sunjo handheld chainsaw. Uh, this thing is absolutely amazing. First of all, it is a handheld saw that cuts through logs, two by fours, sticks, debris. If you just got this, it would be awesome, but it comes with an extender pole, so you can go five to six feet over your head and get those overhanging branches. Works on a battery, no gas, none of, no, 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 none of the other maintenance to deal with. That is my pick of this show. Start ordering it right now. All right, where am I going, Deke? Where is it? Where's that squeegee? Oh, here it is. Oh, man. I got to get one of these. I've got four giant picture windows on the street side of my house. They're such a pain to get to. This is called the Apollo. I love Apollo. First of all, they make great cleaning products. It's, a, it's an extendable window sprayer and squeegee. I have a squeegee, but I don't have a sprayer. So what you want to do is you got the extender pole, so you can open this up as long as you want. And then it's got a pull trigger squeegee here so you can squirt, clean, turn, and squeegee off. I got to get this. This is brilliant. Oh, there's a little place to put my uh, window cleaner. I can put that right in the end. Oh, I got to get one of these. And you can use it handheld as well. What's the sale price, Kyle? I can't read it. What was the original price? All right, so they dropped it. That's 50% off. You know you want it. You got windows. You don't live in a hut, right? You got windows. Grab one of these, 724-992. All right. Let's go. We got more. Where are we going, Deb? Where is it? Over here? Oh, over here. Come on over here, everybody. Come on, Deb. Deb is back with us. So if you love the bike planter, I think you're going to love the cardinal planter. Y'all know my affinity and most of yours out there for cardinals. When cardinals appear, angels are near. I've always thought my dad turned into a cardinal when he left us because I got cardinals in my backyard and I never had those uh, here in Florida. You have your choice of a red cardinal, yep. obviously the original. And then it also comes in black. And we have it over here on the floor in black. I don't yeah. know if you can get a shot of that. There you go. Can you see it? So this is an absolutely amazing statement piece. And Guy is absolutely right. The cardinals are something that we want to have come into our homes because it means that a loved one is visiting. And this is going to do it in absolute gorgeous style. It is 16 inches long, 16 inches long. It is so big and it's 12 and a half inches high. The plate is about eight inches and it has a drainage hole. So you can put a big plant on here like we just did and the water will drain out. It's made of metal. So it's rust resistant and uh, corrosion resistant, weather resistant, but this is going to be gorgeous in your home on a windowsill, making that statement or out in your garden or on your porch, any way you want to put 
put it. It's going to bring that gorgeous cardinal that we all know and love yeah. and really bring it into the home. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's made of metal. It comes apart. You simply put it together. Super, super easy. You're just going to attach the body of the cardinal onto the plate and tighten the screw and then you just put your plant on it and enjoy it. It really is a stunner. Yeah, and remember, Red or black, you know, it really depends what you're gonna, what you want to feature in it. Uh, we just put that beautiful, I wanted to see the cardinal, the red one with the planter, uh, the plant actually on it. $29.95, this is the kind of stuff I love. And if you've got a faux plant, you could put it out there and then you've got beauty that'll last year round. Absolutely, no question about it. And this is an indoor or outdoor. Remember, you put a plant on it, it does have a drainage hole, but if you don't want to put something that's going to be wet on the bottom to have in your home, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous on a windowsill or on a porch. Again, the black one is a stunner. It's hard for you to see the black one. I'm going to pick it up here. Yeah, go ahead. Here, guys. So. It's 16 inches, so this is big. This is not gonna be wimpy, wimpy. It's gonna be a statement piece wherever you put it. It's got a beautiful mesh here. This is 16 inches and this is 12 inches. And then the base is eight inches and there's a little drainage hole in there to put the plant on. So you can put a big plant down here or you could put flowers in here. You can put a plain pot or maybe one of those sort of Mexican color pots that are really gonna pop through the body of the cardinal. But this is going to be beautiful in your yard or garden or just on your porch inviting your guests on. We have it on a little table here, which I think really elevates it. Yeah. But anywhere you put it you've got that gorgeous motif of a cardinal which we all know and love and you've got a statement piece that's going to simply make yep. your, your flowers or plants pop they did pop a drainage hole in it so if you are putting real plants on there you don't have to worry to one, one little hole you'll see it right in yep. there uh, so that you will get a little bit of res, uh, reservoir of water but then most of it will drain out you don't want your plants sitting in, in a puddle of water so you have that going I love the red because it's a traditional color for a cardinal uh, but I think the black is very unusual as well I like that mesh sort of screen design which allows your your pot to kind of shown through there and then if you want to do a faux plant you have no maintenance. If you want to put a real plant in there, I like the size too because it's good, it's good enough for about a medium-sized plant. Absolutely, it's it's really a statement piece. Now you happen to like the red. I, my garden is I got all black and white in it. So I, when I opened up the box and saw the black, I was like, okay, that is it for me because I love the motif of the cardinal, but I also love all that black mesh work. So this is the one that I like. The red, of course, the traditional cardinals, and I'm fortunate enough that I have a family of cardinals that come and visit me and it's always a delight. I absolutely love it. The babies come every season, the parents bring them, but this is going to give you that gorgeous motif of the cardinal in your yard, in your garden, on your porch, or in your home yeah. that you can enjoy season after season uh, after season. I, I, I love this for a condo, an apartment, a dorm, you know, Perfect. someplace smaller too, because you may not have a full out garden, but you just want to have like one plant that you can take care of and one little feature. It doesn't take up a lot of room, you know, an inordinate amount of room, so you could put it out on your porch or patio and it'll just make you smile i mean that's th these are the kind of things that you love and of course i am a true believer that cardinals do bring good luck so grab it while you can 29.95 uh, it's brand new the item number is 812-819 that's the item number on that one uh deb is not going anywhere deb is just going to keep hitting home runs <laughs> here with us um how many left of the bike stand planter kyle total wow. i had a thousand we are down to the final 270. I have it available in red, I have it available in white, and then I also have it available in the bronze. Absolutely adorable. It's right behind you, Deb. Watch oh, out. let me get out of the way. There you go, Deb. There it is. Look at how cute that is. We hey, love you know, it. be a it's nice so gift, nice Easter gift for somebody, totally. right? Totally. Mother's totally. Day? No question. Right? Absolutely. Father's Day, dad likes a bike, right? Uh, if you want to get it, final quantities of those three colors, 735. Four, nine, uh, five, nine, five, excuse me. All right. Hey, if you have a need for anything, garden, decor, whatever, just search outdoor. We have our lawn and garden buying guide, <clears throat> or you can search guys in the garden and you'll see in a variety, there's the beautiful Valerie, you'll see a variety of beautiful things like Valerie all, all there. So if you're looking for plants, lighting, Anything, insect spray, you know, the, the no more bugs, whatever it is. We got it right there because it is ready, set, spring. It'll be here before you know it. All right. 
always, always, always a huge customer pick is our floral garden spheres. What I love about what Deb brings us, she brings us an incredible array of ways to spruce up our garden, but she also brings us these spheres. What I love about the spheres is no green thumb mm -hmm. required, mm -hmm. okay? Anybody can have these beautiful, sculpted, gorgeous plants, put them in a pot, hang them from a fishing line, right? You can, you can do anything you want with them, and they absolutely will always stay beautiful because they're faux. Absolutely. And nobody will know. Every <laughs> right, Deb? <laughs> <laughs> That's 100% right, Guy. These are, again, a customer pick. Absolutely beautiful. You see them hanging behind us in the three little pots. You're getting two of them. These are 13-inch faux boxwood spheres with little flowers on them. They're absolutely spectacular. We have four gorgeous colors still available, but these are going to be an instant jump, jump start to your yard or garden because they are absolutely lend themselves to being in your yard, hanging from a fishing line, popping them in, a, in an urn, putting them on either side of your door, any way you want to decorate. Boxwood has been around for literally centuries because it shapes so beautifully, but you need mad scissor skills in order to maintain real boxwood, not to mention you've got to fertilize it and water it and do all that. Well, Thank these you. are going to be ready to go right out of the box. All you need to do is sort of give them a little zhuzh and decide where you want to use them to absolutely okay. have that beauty anywhere in your yard or garden. So obviously you can see they come in colors. If you want to pick them, the one that Deb had is white. Mm -hmm. They come in purple. <clears throat> they also come in red. And they come in, what did I miss? Pink. Uh, pink, right? You've got the pink at your feet. Pink, purple, red, or white. There you go. I had it written down on my card. Everybody will get two of these. All right, so let me give you an idea. How about putting them in a pot on either side of the, flanking your, your entryway and never having to deal with them again, all right? They get dirty, you rinse them off. They, they stay outside. They're meant to be outdoors. They can be indoors as well. They're great indoor decor if you're having a party or a wedding or, or, or some kind of a celebration. Mm -hmm. You can half them. They actually come in two pieces, so if you just want to use half, you could do that. And you could figure out how to, how to utilize those. We put them in pots and put them up against the fence. Look how beautiful those are. So you have, you have myriad op like different places you could put these. Absolutely, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to actually take advantage of these. Now they come whole, they're 13 inches, they weigh about a pound and a half. There is a center seam in them and they snap together. What Guy is saying is that you can actually unsnap them and I'm just gonna show you what he's talking about. They have to step up here. Everything <laughs> is harder for me with this silly foot. I okay, know, hon. so you simply unsnap them and then you have two half domes. Now you're also getting four stakes that you can stake them into the ground to keep them secure and you can mix them around your annuals and your perennials and they've already got the little flowers on them so they're really going to look beautiful in your garden. But then when you want to go ahead you can snap them back together again and you can hang them. And there is a center loop that you will find. You simply look at it. There's a center loop that's going to make it easy for you to hang these. Uh, we hang ours on regular uh, fishing line. They only weigh about a pound and a half. So you can create absolute beautiful, absolutely beautiful looks for very, very little money. Go to your local discount designer store, get a couple of urns and just pop them in there. Or you can get Oasis, the floral Oasis and pop them in that, or put them in the soil with the, uh, the um, stakes that you're getting. Oh, wow. If you Hello. want to do half. Hang on. we're gonna do half? I'll do either one you want. Well, let's do whole. I like Do a whole, whole, but then I wanted everybody to see that if you just want to use half of one, but watch. Okay. I'm done. We just, de <laughs> we just decorated. Look. Isn't that amazing? I'm done. Absolutely All you amazing. Put this in front of your house, nobody will know. I, you can come right up next to it and nobody will know. If you want to, let me have one of the halves just because I want to have fun with this. If you want a little mushroom, look. See, I think I, oh, oh Deb. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Look at poor Sorry. Deb, but look. Now I can use just, look at that. So now you get four halves. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And remember, everyone, they snap back together. There's a little, you'll see them. There's a loop in there in the center that if you want to hang them, that just gives you a, a better center of gravity. We're showing you the inside. You're going to get them. They're going to be whole. Right. You're getting two of them. They'll be all together. We're just giving you other options to really maximize yeah. them. But you see, it's like a little frame here, and there are little buttons and little loops and little buttons and little hoops, and it snaps together super easily. And then there's a loop here at the top when you want to hang it. It just gives you the center of gravity. But you're going to be in charge to have this fabulous decor 
Designers have used boxwoods for literally centuries. If you go to Versailles, you're looking at all these gorgeous shaped, gorgeous yes. boxwoods. Absolutely, they've yes. literally been around for centuries. But you need to have expert scissor skills, not with these spheres. And we've given you the flowers, so we're jump starting on spring. Perfect. Four gorgeous colors, and you're gonna be the designer for very, very little money. Have you been to Versailles? I haven't yet. I have. Oh. Let me just tell you, that's a garden. <laughs> that is the ultimate, if you ever get a chance, go. It's amazing. That's it, pretty, it really is. But you're right, they use, it's all high-end flora and fauna out there. Gardens and, and the, 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 the water, it's uh, the castle, unbelievable, the hall of mirrors. It's an amazing place. You can create these kind of really ritzy looks in your house without having to do any gardening. I mean, you, you, you spend 49, you get two, you can break them down and use four, like I said, in pots if you want. Just choose a color, white, Pink, red, purple. I kind of like. I kind of like the purple, but I also really like the red. The red is kind of. It's hard like, to choose. They're all gorgeous. It's tough to choose, but if you've got a couple of areas you want to put them in your home, go ahead and do it. Um, remember, if you get two sets of these, free shipping and handling. Customer pick, HSN.com. Read the reviews. Everybody loves them. But get two sets and you get free shipping because anytime you spend 75 bucks here, that's and that's for the future going forward. You automatically lose your shipping, which is fantastic. But I just like, Deb, that the people that can't garden anymore can have a garden. Absolutely. Right? And you can have it in your home. Because remember, these are outdoor safe and they are fade resistant. If they get dusty, you simply wash or yeah. wipe them up with a cloth or just give them a little spray. But they can be inside your home as well. Just look at any landscaping magazine or interior decorating magazine and always boxwood. And you've got two of them, flank your front door, pop them on your dining table. The holidays, they absolutely lend themselves to holiday decor. And you're going to be able to have them season after season because they're never going to die. And Mother Nature gave us something that's going to be really natural looking they're not perfect they're really looking realistic so you've got the opportunity with these beautiful little flowers four great colors and you're getting two of them today it's i tell you it's it's a no-brainer right not everybody should have a chance to have something pretty in their yard or on their porch or on their patio on their deck that's what this is it's just two balls of pretty that's what i love about it <laughs> 718 $49.99 is all you will pay there. And remember, use flex pay. It's only what? Kyle, what's that say? $16 and change? Hey, if you want to get no more bugs, how many gone, Kyle? Over a thousand people picked it up today. Listen, I don't want to get rid of the bugs in the world. They're, they're an important part of the food chain, but I don't want them being an important part of my food chain. You know what I'm saying? So use this stuff. Ticks, fleas, mosquitoes, cockroaches, gnats, stink bugs, it goes on and on. Spray it on your skin, spray it on your bed, spray it on your, oh, if you're a camper, spray it in your, in your sleeping bag, that's for sure. And it even helps with snakes, that's what I've heard. All right, oh, chainsaw. Deb, you can stay here with me. Have you seen this thing? I have. I have bought a lot of things at HSN. There are, there are very few things that give me more pleasure <laughs> than this product. I have to turn it this way so you can see the name. Give it a squeeze. I can cut through two by fours, logs. I use it for firewood, rechargeable battery, no gas to put in it, doesn't make a lot of noise. If you've got overhanging branches in your yard, get one of these because it comes with an extension pole and that's included. Coming up, it's my pick. All right, Deb, more faux? Uh-huh. You wouldn't know. I know. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down here. Okay. Um, so you can see, because I got a, a big heads in the way. These are actually uh, from Improvements. Love that company. Absolutely. They make, in my opinion, some of the best faux uh, flowers that we have. This is our petunia basket. Deb, it's beautiful. These are gorgeous. Now, I, spring is really around the corner, everybody, and I know you're going to your garden store and you're looking at all the flowers and all the pots and thinking, okay, this is the year that I'm going to get them and I, they're not going to die at the end of the season. Well, I got news for you. If you're like me, unfortunately, after a while, they start to get a little sparse and they start to get a little funky. And then the next year, I've got to invest and buy a whole other one. Well, the improvements team has solved that issue with these gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, realistic looking petunia plants. They are 28 inches long from the top of the hook all the way down. 
They are 13 inches in diameter. They're so unbelievably lush. There are flowers everywhere and they're hanging so beautifully that they really look real. We even gave you one of those cocoa fiber um, bases so it looks even more realistic but the investment that you get make today is going to be something that's going to give you the opportunity to enjoy that beautiful look of real petunias but they are faux season after season <coughs> after season they are just spectacular we've got the gorgeous white <coughs> the beautiful purple and yeah. the fabulous pink yeah. I keep banging my head I, <laughs> I will tell you I don't know how close you can come to this one Deb I am, look at that. I mean, I'm, I'm almost banging my head on it. I still would not know this isn't real. And they're so lush, aren't they? Look at it. Look at how beautiful the color is. This is ideal for a senior out there that can't garden anymore. Absolutely. Somebody that can't reach up over their head to water. Absolutely. And, and remember, it, the cocoa fiber mats, are those are high end. Those are more expensive. That's what makes me think it's real. Exactly. Right? See, that's why the improvement yeah. people are so smart. Because if you look at any of the, des of the designer flowers in any of the garden shops that you go to, everybody is using this cocoa fiber because it's more absorbent right. and it keeps your, your plant... Um, uh, uh, Moist, hydrated. Yeah, w yes, watered. exactly. Watered <laughs> longer. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But yeah. you don't have to water this because these are faux. Now, we do recommend that you use them in an overhang or on a porch. Look at because that. Because if they're out there in the wow. weather too long, they can get a little funky. So you want to just be cognizant of where you're hanging them. But anywhere yeah. you put them, they're going to be beautiful. And they're 300 to 60 degrees of beauty all natural looking beauty, even though they are all faux. And I don't know whether you want all the same color or mix them up like we've got them here. I would do, I like the purple and the pink. I love the purple and yeah, the pink. Yeah, and by the way, the pink is the most limited. I have 780 left of the pink, actually less than that right now. We are getting very busy. I had a feeling about these because I said, you know, I've seen faux plants. A lot of them look crappy and kind of cheap. Not improvements. No. Improvements spends a lot of effort and money to make sure. That's why these aren't $12. That's why, because it justifies the price. You know, when you said to me earlier, rather than go buy a, a potted plant in a, in a cocoa fiber mat with a, with a hanger exactly. for $30, exactly. buy one that'll last years. Right? You're 100% right. So this is one that's going to look as beautiful as the day that you hang it up as when you put it away for the season if you live up north. But down here in Florida, you can leave it there all year long. And people, if you have it hanging on your porch or a couple of them hanging on your porch, people are going to be amazed at your, at your gardening skills. And you don't have to tell them that they're not real. Look at how gorgeous they are on that pergola. They look absolutely 100% real. The team, the improvement team works just absolutely so hard to give you something that looks real. The days of having things look plastically and fake are over. Now with technology, they create something that's going to be beautiful, that's going to be hardy, and that's going to be maintenance free. And that's this gorgeous petunia plant. 28 <coughs> inches long from the top of the hook to the bottom of the base. It spills out over the basket. It's about 13 inches in diameter, lush from every single angle that you look at. And the best part is all you need to do is find a place to hang it, sit back and enjoy it. Hang and you it. will not be disappointed when you open that Even box. if you come in really close on the individual yeah. blossoms, you'll see how they're all unique, all the striations that are in them. They're, it's so believable. And listen, if you, can, if you can fool the eye with something like this, get it. I mean, growing plants is not the easiest thing to do, especially hanging plants, which can dry out very yes. quickly. They are forgotten very often. People go out and do their garden. Oh my God, it's a hanging plant. Not only that, you know, you have to worry about the wind and the weather and is it gonna, did I, are they getting enough water? You don't have to do anything but hang this. And I agree. I think best suited on a porch, patio. They'd look great even in a covered area. Indoors, outdoors, doesn't really matter. Absolutely. They're gorgeous. And even if you just got the 
the uh, the bicycle planter and you wanted to take the chain off and pop this in the back seat of your uh, the basket of your bicycle planter you can't go wrong you will not be disappointed we really worked very very hard to give you something that was going to be spectacularly natural looking and ready to go right out of the box because we're all busy people unless you are a master gardener you always have problems one always has problems with keeping our plants through the entire season this is going to give you the opportunity right now you'll get it it's only march you'll have it all season long put it away if you live up north and bring it out again next yeah. year you've already invested once and you don't need to reinvest no. again so let me tell you what's going on deb i'll tell deb what's going on i'll tell you <laughs> i have 500 people ordering right now wow congratulations it's probably going to sell out let me know what color you want i have a few hundred left of each one of the colors maintenance free easy beautiful great item to get and try our 30-day money-back guarantee because here's what you're going to do you're going to take it out and you're going to be like this is nicer than the real yeah, one yeah. that i have this is always going to stay in bloom i never have to water it it doesn't need sunshine it's like the perfect child it takes care of itself. We all know they don't do that, Deb. They ask for money and they go to college and they eat and make smelly things happen. This is just a beautiful, easy, maintenance-free way to decorate your yard. I'd like I get this home for when's Easter? April when's Easter? April 9th? I think it's April 9th. Get it home for Easter. Put it out in front of your house. Be beautiful all through springtime. Absolutely. And you know, when you get that close-up shot and you see the inside of the petunias, you almost can envision a hummingbird flying in there. They look that real. I've got this gorgeous fuchsia one. It's beautiful blend of, of pink. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. You would think that that was a real flower, and it's not. It's faux. And you are going to be able to have it hanging on your porch or maybe out on your backyard, on your on, on your overhang. Simply beautiful. It's ample, and no matter what size you look at, it's all flush and gorgeous. Let me, let me help you out there, you guys. I know it's really tough to get in right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. 600 people online. The best way to order this, you see that little box at the bottom of that little bunch of writing? That's called a QR code. That means quick response. All you do is take your tablet or your phone, turn on your camera app, and hold it up to that little square. It'll take you right to .com. You'll be ready to go. You order it. Boom, boom, boom. You have it. Which is gone? Pink is gone. Okay. Um. All right. Purple's going to be the next one to go. Deb, <laughs> you got to talk to these guys. Get us more. <laughs> I'll do everything that I can. I'll do everything I can. Is that my big I head can. right there? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is some gray hair. Look at that. I put that in, you know. I had the gray. So I can look a little... No, I'm no. Just joking. <laughs> just joking. Hey, if you want to get it home, uh, like I said, fastest way is just use automated ordering. Uh, you can see how many people... I can't really read it, but I think it looks like eleven or 1,200 people. 1,700 people, wow, have already picked it up. I added, we added a bunch of time. I've got maybe, how many left? Eight or 900? Okay, Kyle says fewer than 1,000 left if you want to pick it up. Item number up there is 814-221-221. Only $24.95. You'll have this for years, Deb. Yeah, and that's that's the point. You're going to have this. If it gets a little dusty, you simply wipe it off with a soft cloth or give it a little spray. But I want you to see, this is the beautiful white. I know we're sold out of the pink. But look at this. It's beautiful from any angle. This is what we did. We made you something that's going to be lush from wherever you're looking at it, and it's going to stay this way. And again, that cocoa fiber liner is the high-end look. You're paying extra for that if you're buying fresh flowers at the garden store, and you're not... With with this beautiful faux so you're going to enjoy it i love the white i love the purple you can't go wrong absolutely realistic looking and zero maintenance absolutely none you know you're always in trouble when they replace the sale, the sold counter with the <laughs> left. left counter <laughs> that means they're all going 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 if you want one of these my choice now you know what i dug it too I mean, yeah. you're going to love it yeah. so much, and you're going to be like, and it's going to sell out, yeah, and you're going to be like, crap, I should have got two. They won't be here for the rest of the season. They're gone. All right, yeah. get them home. Winding down, Deb Byers, that is it for you. You are amazing. Well, I, they're amazing. You're amazing. Facebook friends, you're all amazing. We're all amazing. Sold out. Oh. 
Congratulations, everyone. You're going to be That's thrilled. a lot of faux flowers. <laughs> Gone. Good job. As always. All right, go get back on your little bike scooter. <laughs> be careful. Uh, hey, we got a sale going on on .com. You want to save on HP? We got all kinds. So we got computers. We got printers. Everything you could want to get your electronics restocked for springtime. I'm going to take a break, get a little drink of water. When we come back, the coolest outdoor light or indoor light ever coming your way next. It's time to lose those layers and get a jump start on spring. HSN is welcoming the season with an entire day dedicated to brightening your home. Spruce up inside with decor that will refresh your entire space. And get everything you need for outside to get your garden into full bloom. It's time to pack away the old. And make room for new must-haves you'll love. Don't miss our spring home and garden event all day Friday on HSN and HSN.com. It's time to lose those layers and get a jump start on spring. HSN is welcoming the season with an entire day dedicated to brightening your home. Spruce up inside with decor that will refresh your entire space. And get everything you need for outside to get your garden into full bloom. It's time to pack away the old. And make room for new must-haves you'll love. Don't miss our spring home and garden event all day Friday on HSN and HSN.com. It's your time to shine with Radiance by Absolute, the beauty and brilliance of simulated diamonds. Crafted from best-in-class cubic zirconia, you get the incredible sparkle of mined diamonds for a lot less. So you can mix, match, and layer your pieces, creating a dazzling look you'll love to wear and be seen in. Discover Radiance by Absolute, exclusively at HSN. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. All right, welcome back. Uh, my apologies, I know we have been busy today, uh, but I am happy that all of my garden friends are with us today. That's a really good sign. I know, we're waiting for spring, right? We wanna get outside, we wanna enjoy outdoor activities. Well, this next item, I aired it in its, in its launch here, right? Was it the launch here when I did, James? All right, we had it for one airing, we had a good amount of quantity, we sold it out in about 10 minutes. It is called the Fly Pro. This is a telescoping area light like I've never seen before. If you are a boater, a camper, a fisherman, you want the kids outside playing in the backyard and you don't have a well-lit area, you can create this overhead spotlight anywhere you want. It's absolutely the coolest thing. You don't need any wires. It's a rechargeable built-in battery on this guy, right? The ultimate anywhere light. You can raise it up high. You can bring it down low. It is on sale. I don't know how we kept the sale price and free shipping. $139 down to $99.95. It is totally portable. It weighs less than two pounds and it gives you 40 feet diameter of illumination. So if the kids are out playing in the yard, bring it out, put it up there. Your campground site, put it there, take it to the beach. Fourth of July, you wanna put it out in the sand. You can take it anywhere. Let me introduce you to the man that brings it to us. His name is James Burry. James, welcome back to the show, my man. Hey, guy, good to see you. Glad hey, to be back. It's always good to come back after you sold out the last time. Oh, that right? was so exciting. It's so thrilling. tell everybody the story, because I know you, you, you guys created this. It's a super cool idea, and I think one that everybody, got, they get it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So we're a really active family, and that means when the sun goes down, we didn't want to stop playing, and we were outside with flashlights or headlights and blinding each other, but what we really needed was like an indoor light in the outdoors. So we created the Fly Pro. It's kind of like a light is flying up high. Yeah. That's how we came up with the name. Yep. So the idea is, as you can see here, it's on a telescoping pole. Very lightweight, very easy to use, but you can see it gets light up to eight feet Look in the air. Look how high it is. Eight feet in the air. And check this out. I think yeah. this is one of your favorites. When it's oh. that high, it's you know, remote. you're not gonna be jumping up there to do it. You're just gonna turn it on with the remote. Okay. Now you can do all the different modes with this remote, but, um, 
As you can see here, you can do all the modes. Yeah. And we're going to go through all that. We'll do all that. Uh, but you could be sitting in your, like, I went, I, years back, I went camping up in Maine. And I remember at night, I'm like, all I had was a little, like, ground lantern. And I'm like, I wish I had, like, a house yeah. light over us exactly. to light up our area. And what this does is it allows the light to shone down. You see what we're saying? So it actually lights up that big diameter of where you are. I, this is a great emergency light. Oh, Power goes out, and you need an indoor emergency light, or you need to work on your car or your boat. Not only that, it has a feature where it has a blinking red emergency light. So if you're stuck on the side of the road, turn it on, look for the light. That's right. Look so, at, and also a really nice thing too, um, as far as emergencies and safety, I live in a rural area. So a lot of times, I'll just pop this thing up. We don't have street lights. Yeah. The whole family, I'll fold this up. Well, we'll pop it up and I'll go for a walk. Yeah. Just like this. And it's, yep. I'm not pulling it tight enough. No, that's okay. I'll go for a walk just like this. It's lighting up the entire family. It's lighting yeah. up the, the backside. It's lighting up the front side. It's lighting up my dog walking around. Cars are going to see us. Now, I just turned it on the emergency mode. I don't know if you can get a close-up. I'm going to go through, if you want to get a close-up, uh, Dan, of this, of anyone, I don't care. I'll just go through the different modes, and it shows exactly how I can switch from whatever mode I want to. If I want to go, actually, like, I'm going to let you do it because you're right underneath it there. Oh, yeah. So we'll get a close-up and watch. So we'll go through the regular light, yeah, we got emergency red. light. And the red is nice because it doesn't dilate your eyes at night. Right. And you can go and, and kind of enjoy your lighting, be able to see what you're doing, but it's not that harsh white light. Okay. And we'll switch to and another mode. And then we've mode. got a flashing red mode. I love that. On if you're the stuck, side of the road. Stuck on the side of the road, you're, yeah. you know, you're stuck in the snow or you're stuck somewhere with a flat tire. You have that light. Give me another mode. Now we've got uh, the regular flashlight mode. Check this out. I've got so many modes going on in this thing right now. <laughs> All right. So, so there's right. a light on top. I forgot about this mode. You can be on the side of the road. It's going to light up the entire car and flash at the same time. Yeah, point it right to camera so we can see the flashlight. There yeah, it is. So Look. we got the flashlight here. So you have a light on the front, a light underneath, emergency lights built in, it telescopes way over your head. Kyle, how many did you see? I know we, you said we, had a, we started the day we had 11 or 1,200. What do I have hard quantity? There's 700 left. This sold out in one airing when we had it on before. I just think it's brilliant. You know, and I think about, especially if you got kids or grandkids, they want to go out play in the yard, it's dark. Yeah. And they're like way in the corner of your property. You take this out, stick it into the ground, and now the kids can be out there playing kickball or tag or having fun. That's right. Now I was down here in Florida and guess what? Out on the beach, what better place to watch the sunset? Watching the sunset, but as soon as the sun's down, people are emptying the beach. We're out there, we're popping these things up, we're playing cornhole. The beach at night is a really good time and you can just, oh, you can stake it in. Yeah. I don't think we talked about that. No, it's got- These ground stakes. Yep, it's got little metal stakes, right? That will, and by the way, they're metal. Yep. You're not, you know, you could have could have tried to put the cheapo plastic, didn't no. do it. Full aluminum, full aluminum tripod. Yep, full, and these are very sharp and all you do is push them down into the sand or push them down into the grass or if you're in a clay area where you're camping, whatever, it's dirt. They'll go right down in there, and now you've got that light. It's $40 off today. It's free shipping and handling. Just about 600 or so remaining. I think it's gonna sell out again. It keeps selling out, so I can't buy the dang thing. Well, yeah, maybe you can just grab one of these when we're done. <laughs> I'll Another just steal thing. One. They are they are like brilliant. So if you if you I just think if you like any outdoor activity, or even in a power failure, oh, right? You have no out. light in your house, bring one of these inside. That's right. Bring this inside, you can hang it. So you're still gonna, you don't even need to use the, uh, the telescope. In right. fact, maybe you're outside and you can see these hooks back here. Yeah. Hook it on there, light up your whole thing. Uh, the power goes out and you need to put it on your breaker box. There's a neodymium magnet on the back okay. of this thing. Stick it right on the breaker, you're gonna light Talk up everything. Talk to me about charging and all that stuff. Charging, okay. super easy. It is a USB-C, so okay. it's quick charging. And you're gonna be charging up a 4,000 milliamp battery. So it's very high capacity battery. So okay. you're gonna be able to drive this bright for a long time. And what I want, can I hold that for a yeah. sec? I, if you guys can come to it to me. I have, I have never seen a light on, that we air here in our solar, any kind of category that is that intense. Oh, it's 1,200 it is, lumens. It's 1,200 lumens. To give you an idea, you know, a lot of like landscape lights and stuff like that, they're under 100 lumens. Yeah. I mean, this is 1,200, so you can see. I mean, I'm in the sun here, and look at how bright that thing is. I mean, look at how incredibly bright. It's almost like neon. Um, so everything that you're looking for in a camping light, in, a, in an activity light, emergency light, I mean, it's all there. And then again, I can switch it to flashlight. Now I've got a flashlight. So I've got an under, under light, 
I've got an overlight. All that is built in. And you can actually see, look, there's my emergency light. Can you see the red on my hand? There's the emergency light as well. So it, it I mean, literally, you, you asked yourself a lot of questions when you made this because you hit every bell and whistle. We're trying to solve a lot of answers. You get a great flashlight, you get a great yeah. lantern. This is a good lantern just by itself. And you can dim it. You just press and hold and it's gonna dim to anything. And also, you don't need to worry about losing your remote. Magnetically sticks to the bottom of that thing. So you can see there. Um, and then it comes in a carrying case, Look. less than two pounds. Take that it to your is, tailgating. That is that. Yeah. Right over your shoulder. I think last time you talked about you have a yeah. smoker on your deck, right? Yeah, I do. I got a barbecue smoker Great out there. Great for grilling. I don't have, you know what's funny is that I have, I have some like landscape lights out there. They don't yeah. light up the grill. No, no. So this would be perfect for that. In fact, that's, that's exactly what I would do with it. I would have it out there. And then when Danny and his buddies like to come over, you know, there's a big back corner that's kind of really dark in my house or in my yard. I could prop this up just to have a little backdrop lighting yeah. back there. You know? Mine will light up the grill. It'll light up my entire deck. And then when it's time for dinner, we're going to pop it all on right. the table and get it up, get, get it up above yeah. all the bugs. My producer, Kyle, just said two minutes or, till, or sell out. We have 500 and something left, so already close to 500 people have already picked it up again. Fantastic. All right? Yeah, congratulations. Well, you know what, James, you built it right. I appreciate you, that. You, you, and, and trust me, I see all kinds of products, uh, the, the construction of it, the, the solid design, the metal design, the, the metal spikes. I, I always notice where companies can kind of save a few bucks. For 100 bucks, anybody yeah. that's an outdoor person would want this thing. We wanted to create a premium product that would last. Yeah. And uh, that's what I, I love about it. Even if you're in the garage, in the shop, that's a, a tough environment. We wanted yeah. it to be strong in that area. Let me ask you this, because we had a couple people online that are asking a couple of questions. Uh, what about how long the, la the light will last? On high, 1,200 <laughs> lumens, you're going to get maybe an hour and a half. Okay. But again, just like your car, if you want to save gas, get off the throttle, dim it down, and you're going to be able to run the thing all night. Yeah, so, so if you want super bright light, you get about an hour to an hour and a half, which if I'm barbecuing outside, that's plenty, right? I just need to get out oh, there. Yeah. I'm not going to leave it on the whole time. Yeah, yeah. If the kids are playing in the yard and you want to dim it, you'll get hours and hours of runtime on it. We have one minute left, free shipping and handling. $24.99 on your credit card. I love that shop. Look at oh, how much yeah. light, James, yeah. look. I love it. Yeah, that's my family right there. We're having fun. Nice. We are using these things. I look forward to seeing how all the HSN families use these. Well, I'm gonna take some lifestyle shots with mine. I'm gonna I show you, so. I'm gonna be out of my barbecue smoker and I'm gonna be like, look, I can see. I can see what I'm doing. All right, so last call, 809-415. Uh, my producer Kyle says a few hundred remain if you wanna get it home. That's a great shot right there. Out on the deck, right? Out Perfect on your dock, on deck. wherever. Yeah. yeah. Get it on me, love those it. Outdoor spaces. Good job again, my man. Thank you, guys. On its way to sell out. Really appreciate Excellent it. Excellent job. Hey, real quick, if you are outside, and you missed our um, presentation of No More Bugs. This is, this is a, a bug spray like no other. I don't even like to call it a bug spray, it's beyond that. Spray it right on your hands, put it on your legs, put it on your ankles, put it on your, in your, on your hat, golf clubs, suitcases. Bugs can't stand this stuff. It smells like cedar. It's beautiful. You're gonna love it. I own it, I bought a gallon of it. That's how much I love it, 009280. Over a thousand people picked that up today. All right. Bobby, Bobby, baby. Bobby, I'm sorry you're catching me at the end of my two hours, because you know my voice lasts about two hours, but I got Bobby to help me out. It's all good. Let me tell you, you don't need to talk a lot about this product, because this product just shows. It shows you what it can do. Out of all the products I've ever purchased here at HSN, easily top three, could be number one. I use it probably no, definitely every week, at least once a week, to trim the palm fronds. If it was just a handheld chainsaw, easy to operate, no gas, none of the scary, built-in safety features, it would be amazing, no cords. But it also comes with an extender pole. So now I can reach things that are way over my head. My palm fronds, Bobby, are like 10, 12 feet, or 10, 12 feet high. Yeah. So I'm six feet, I can reach with the extender pole and I can reach all that. Everybody that orders will get Oil for the chainsaw, there's a little thing on top. You just unscrew it, pour the oil in. That just lubricates the chain. Just a little bit, probably once a month. Charger, high capacity battery, handheld unit, and the extender pole. Today it's the weekly deal drop, 164. 
$129.95, free shipping and handling. I will hand it over to you, my friend, and then I'm gonna go to work. I'm taking down I part know. of that magnolia. <laughs> you know, know I'll do it. I know what's coming. I feel bad for that magnolia behind me. Tell us all it, bad, Bobby. If you were just getting this for the handheld position tool only, it would be worth it, especially at today's deal. But you don't just get this. You get the pole as well, which is why, in my opinion, it's kind of like a BOGO or two for one. You get the handheld and the pole so it looks like this when it's on the extension pole. This is a five inch saw. How does it work? You turn it on. You put the butt of the saw against your wood or trim your trees or whatever you're doing, your shrubs. You don't have to push or force. Slowly rock it back and forth. Let the gravity be your best friend. And look how quickly and easily I just got through a two by four piece I, of wood. Can I try something really quick while you're right here? Yeah, what do you Can I grab like, the regular saw? Yeah, or, or this, we got this one too. That's, Take a, your that's a hacksaw, which, which, that's a hacksaw. Okay. I'd rather use the wood saw. Be careful, very sharp, be careful. Yeah, I know, yeah, this very is careful. Sharp. All right, so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna give you <laughs> a few seconds and show you okay. this is a handsaw, okay? First of all, you have to, you always have to start it and try to get the line, you know what I'm talking about? I think I would have been done by now. <laughs> <laughs> hold okay. on, hold on, stay with me. We're, we're here. All right, will you finish, will you finish that for me? Okay. Do you mind finishing that for me? <laughs> wow, all right, guy, yeah. Um, I think your problem was is that you didn't have the right tool <laughs> for the right job, and here in three, two, one. Okay. There we go, I win. You did that's, win. That's the convenience yeah. and the great thing and the flexibility about having this saw. When you, if you're new to, to a chainsaw, I'll admit, at first you think, oh, that, that might be a little scary. That might be a little intimidating. This is anything but. First of all, because it's lightweight, it's under five pounds. It's ergonomically designed. It fits nicely and securely in your hand. Second of all, there's no learning curve. Once you get it, you're very quickly going to adapt and be able to use it. It's not a toy. It is a tool. So if you pull the trigger, if the little kiddos get around this, first of all, I recommend keeping the battery out of it, okay, when you store it. But if you just pull the trigger, it won't go. Why? Because we have your safety. If you're right-handed or left-handed, we've got a button on each side. You have to engage it with your thumb, then pull the trigger, then goes the blade. While I'm on the safety issue, also we got a knuckle protector right here. Smart. We thought of everything. Yep. Very also smart. on safety. We have a bar here, so no kickback or nothing jumps up towards your eyes. Of course, I'm wearing my safety goggles as well. But again, if you've got low hanging branches, a lot of times this time of year, you know, some parts of the uh, US are dealing with a lot of storms. You're gonna have to cut down stuff. What would you do? you'd have to call wow. somebody. You would have to go to the big box store, spend a lot more money on something to rent it. You don't need to rent. You don't need to knock on your neighbor's door and ask to borrow their tool. You've got your son, Joe, right here. Again, no learning curve, just set it up there, let gravity do its work. Look at the cut. Now, why is this important on the cuts? Because you know, guys, the health of the trees, it's important to give a nice, clean, consistent yep. cut for the health of the trees. Right on the money, Bobby. By the way, the battery lasts anywhere from about, up to about a half hour. That's about, I mean, I never, I'm never cutting longer than that. It usually takes me about 15 minutes to cut the trees in the front of my house to be able to do that. Yeah. But if we just were giving you this as a handheld saw, it'd be fantastic. Bobby's going to show you. All you do is you just take, you, you basically pop off the bottom, put that on the bottom of the pole, put the saw on top. It's an easy switch. We'll yep. show you that in a minute. And now you've got an extender pole, Bobby, where you and I are both six footers. Yep. You can go another six, another six feet over your <laughs> exactly, head. Exactly, yeah. The pole itself is about four feet. So what you do is you slap on the battery on this end, okay? The tool goes on the top. What's really unique about this is now you have a well-balanced tool. Your controls are here down here, right? Your control, I'm right-handed, so my controls are down here. But the operation, the saw, the magic is happening up here. What that's going to allow you to do is get up over your head. Now this, this pole is four foot. Watch this guy. I can extend it another almost two feet. This is almost six foot. This is, Look at let's that. see, I'm six foot tall. So there you go for reference. <laughs> above my head, right? So now I just want to, I'm probably gonna go out of frame, I'm probably gonna get in trouble. I just want to show you, look at my reach, how high that, that goes up. If you get that with the jib, yeah. this is high. It's 12, like 14, depending yeah. on how tall you are. And what are you not doing right now? I'm not on a ladder. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> no, my dad's not on a ladder, Dude, my grandfather, you, my mom. No, you don't want your loved ones on a ladder with a chainsaw. If you, if you don't have this, I will tell you, if, if you have to get on a ladder, you call somebody and let them do it. Somebody else. This, oh, right. It's this... crazy to take a saw up in the air like yeah, that, but when now... you're on the ground, you're okay. Exactly. <laughs> now you can get through Jeez. stuff. Look at that. That quick, that easy. Boom, look, look at, at that. that. 
There it is. I'm doing it above my head. I'm letting the saw do the work. And that's hard wood up there. And that's probably two, yeah. two and a half inches thick. This yep. is a five inch blade. So you're going to be able to get through four and a half inch in diameter. All right, we are extremely busy. I want to say a couple things really quick. Uh, how many gone already in the visit? 1900. It's one of my favorites. You all know that because you know I've, I've, I've aired it a couple times because I'm, I'm like, hey, I will air this thing till it sells out because I believe in it. A lot of you maybe have overhanging branches from the winter time, you know, full of ice and they're hanging over your driveway. This is the way to get rid of them, but get rid of them safely. Anybody can use this. It's not heavy on the hands. It's not for children. It is a professional tool. So if your children are old enough and you trust them, make them wear goggles. Also get yourself the three pack of gloves that we offer. All right, the three pack of gloves are amazing. I, I own them. I could never find gloves to fit my hands because I have really big hands. These are a one size fit all. And I want you to see, I'm gonna pull them on here. And I own these at my house. These are the only gloves that I have found that fit that hand, okay? That, I mean, to, to be, and it's rubberized on the inside, okay? So gardening, using tools, you're gonna get three of these for $14.99. I mean, it's a brilliant price, so make sure you get those. But I wanna say real quickly too, if you've never ordered with us before, easy, all right? Any major credit card, all right? PayPal, all that stuff. We have an eight cent credit card. If you use it today, you'll get $10 off, okay? So you get another 10 bucks off, already a ridiculous price. And then you spread the payments out. If you don't wanna pay it all at once, I don't blame you. We don't charge interest, we don't charge finance. All you're doing is paying, what's the flex pay on this, Kyle? Where is it? I can't even see it. We'll put it up. We're gonna put the new graphic up. You just make one payment, we ship it out to you. Have it, try it out for 30 days. If you don't love it, you can return it. I know you're gonna love it. There's no maintenance. You put a little oil in the chamber to lubricate the chain. There's just a little dial, you'll see it. And that's it, and then charge the battery and then put the battery on. And you're ready to go. Put goggles on if you're cutting, right? You, it couldn't be any easier. So there's your flex pay, 25 bucks and change. You get it home. Look at the size of what we're cutting, Bobby. You know, you know what's neat is even if you cut something a little bit bigger or thicker than the four and a half diameter, you could just do two cuts. I mean, it's not like you have exactly. to, again, the thing I've about- I've done the, that. Yeah, yeah, you can just do, you know, there's a way around it. We, we're, we're garden guys, we know what's up. There's some shortcuts, there's some sure. ways to do it. Just sure. do two cuts. The thing about this is what I want you to notice, in addition to how lightweight it is, look, Ma, no cords. Look, yeah. Ma, no gas, yep. no pulling, no right. none of that stuff. It's just our battery operated. So I like to brag about our battery a little bit. If you're Best new to batteries. the Sunjo family, remember when batteries were, uh, was it, they start 12 volt and then they went yeah. to what, 18? Yep. Well, here we are at 24. This is our 24 volt lithium ion battery. It's eco-friendly, quick charging. Gonna give you about 20, 25 minutes of continuous use, but here's the kicker. This is gonna work in over 100 of our other Snow Joe, Sun Joe, yeah. Aqua Joe, Power Joe, Air Joe. Cool. Hey Bobby, while, while we're talking about, because yeah. like we said there's no maintenance, yeah. the only thing I've ever done on mine is tighten the chain. Yes. And Bobby, will you show them how that works? Because remember yep. when you use this, yes. it is on a chain system. Exactly. And if it gets a little loose, what do they do? Yeah, you, first of all, you put a little oil in there. We give that to you right there, that cap comes off. And then you've got a little tightener here. If your chain comes loose, you can take it off and just turn it to the right and, and it can tighten, tighten it right it. up. It's exactly. easy. Exactly, yep. yep. I've only done that once, I've had mine a year. Yeah. <laughs> And again, let's put it up right here. Yeah. Yeah, if you saw a guy earlier in the presentation with, with, <laughs> with the old school saw, oh uh, he didn't even he didn't even quite get it started, did you? Oh, it was terrible. But that and, I, and I've experienced that because well, most wood saws, the teeth, you have to get it started. It yeah, takes you gotta, forever to do that. Exactly. Do you mind if I do a little pruning over here? Yeah, here we so, go. My so favorite part. <laughs> what I love about first of all, I can articulate this. Thank you. To That's any a great angle point. That I want. Yep. So if I'm see and maybe you come in close, I'll show you that. There's a little uh, button right here. I love it because I own this, so I know how to use it very well. <laughs> All you do, you just the button's on this side, you just push that button right there, and that allows you to get to whatever angle you want. Mm -hmm. And then I can extend it. I'm gonna extend this one almost all the way. And I'm gonna do a little real cutting here. I'm actually gonna change the angle just a little bit more straight. There you go. And we've got a magnolia tree back here, which needs a little bit of trimming. So I'll show you. I'll come right Watch over here. Watch your step there, yep. <laughs> now I'm way up here, and I am taking down branches from this magnolia tree. <laughs> and you can see, watch. All right, I'm not gonna go yep, too crazy. Save some but, for next show. Yeah, I gotta say, <laughs> but can you see where I just trimmed there? 
and it took me two seconds. Yeah. I I'm, would have to call a guy, and he'd come over in a, bu in a bucket lifter, uh, yeah. or I'd have to get Actually, on a ladder. How am I going to lean a ladder on a magnolia tree? You can't. You can't. It's, a, it's a virtually an impossible job. You made that look so... I'm glad you did that, just to show, like, there's not, like... This is a fake... This is a real-world scenario. Guy just cut the magnolia tree. You did it seamlessly and effortlessly. Why? I roll the dice every time I do it. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for somebody <laughs> from our crew <laughs> to, to be to like, tell, no! you got to get you over and stop cutting trees. No, <laughs> that guy yeah, owns this, so he knows it, so he's comfortable with it. When yeah. you get this home, you're going to feel very comfortable with it. Again, there's a little area right here. I'll try and keep it still to... Oh, and when we come back to me, I'll show you. But again, this is some first-time users using our Sun Joe chainsaw. You can use it in the handheld. You could put it on the pole. Either way, you're gonna get a lot more use than you originally think. When I first got this, I was like, oh, I may use that once or twice. Uh-uh. I've used this a ton of times. This almost reminds me of pressure washer. Once you start cleaning, you kind of get addicted. You're like, I can clean this, I can clean that. Same thing when you get a chainsaw. You're like, oh, that I can I can stimulate growth over there. I can kind of use it as a pruning saw, yeah, yeah. if you will, to improve the structure or to improve the shape or whatever that you want to do. So again, I was showing you this part right here, maybe in the sun. You put that butt part right there. Trying to keep it real still. Can you see that? That goes against your branch or your log or your piece of wood. Then you don't have to push. Maybe a little bit of rocking back and forth. Hey, Bobby. And again, boom. Clean and will cut. you tell them the key to successful sawing? Get the saw started before you get there. Yep. That's how to, you don't want to put the saw on the wood and then start it. You want to give it a little running start. That way, that way the teeth are already activated and you're not going to get that kind of like, you know, it bounces a little exactly. bit on stuff. Yep. yep. And then again, if you, to transition it into the pool, battery pops on the back. This pops on the top. I'm gonna show you another demo. I'm gonna articulate the head a little bit like that. And then even if you want to go downward, you wouldn't think, okay, you think, oh, I got a pole, I'm going to go up. If you wanna do stuff more on a downward position, you could also do that. Look at that. So I'm cutting something lower than waist Look level. So clean. if you if if a log or branch fell on the ground and it was too big, you'd have to old school get in your hands and knees and chainsaw down here. Look at that. I, I just want you to see how clean that is. Here I can show it to camera like that. You would never be able to do that with a regular handsaw, right? You'd get to the end and then you would be so fatigued. You'd yeah. wind up splintering the wood and then you gotta go out there with a file and you got I mean you would never do that. And to Bobby's earlier point, when you cut clean, you're actually doing a service to the plant right because you know it's not damaged it doesn't exactly. sense that damage and start dripping out and all that stuff so so top to bottom you cannot do any better i am i'm i'm a big proponent of hey listen if it's a really really scary tough job get somebody to do it i got that yeah but we, for most of your cutting for your residential purposes residential trees shrubs bushes firewood down branches kindling, down branches Use Big shrubs. This. And, and a lot of people, and I don't care if you're male, female, whatever age no, you are. No, it doesn't matter. You're going to feel comfortable. If you can hold a couple of pounds in your hand. Under five pounds. Not only that, it's very empowering. It isn't is. It? it is. It's like, oh, I can do this. I you, can you use get a chainsaw, that, man. You get that feeling of confidence. You're like, okay, I can do this. Totally. Normally, something like this, again, you'd have to either call someone over. Yeah. Or rent something. I'm going to get the extender pole, get it up here, high above. Let's see if I can get a good spot here. <laughs> Boom. Did you get that? <laughs> Look at that. Let's do it. That's one like, more. That was like three seconds. Look it. Boom. Look at that. Now, if those branches are, are, you know, were full of ice and hanging over your driveway, they're probably hanging very low. Yeah. It, you that, should be able to reach them. And here you'd be able to get away from it as opposed to being under it. You don't right. have to be like that. You can create that angle to get it away from you. So when it does fall, to Guy's point, if it's heavy, it won't fall on you. It's going to fall on the ground in front of you. So again, safety. We're using the, the gloves. These are Sunjo gloves. If you want a quick hit on this, these are, these are nitrile coated, which is really cool because they're anti -abra they're abrasion resistant, Great they're gloves. weather resistant. Best they're, gloves They ever. keep you warm in the winter. And you've seen me use these gloves the whole presentation with my tools. So my point is, you have flexibility in your fingers to use the tools that you need and, to do. Uh, that rubberized finish is great. Yeah. Especially if your hands get wet, <clears throat> you still have, tra uh, if, uh, you know, traction with them. Yep. Um, and I told you, I have big hands, so I'll be able to find something that fits. But when you take them off, you'll see, this is why the, the one size kind of fits all. When you take them off, they go back down to being just a small glove. So they'll fit anybody, uh, men, women, kids, whatever. Really gonna save your hands. You can wash them as well, just, just line dry them. Yeah. So you can reuse them. If they get, mine get dirty, whatever, I wash them, I leave them on my little mud tub, dry out, 15 good to go. 15 bucks, you get three pair. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's more than you need. That is, that's good. I mean, though. I would use these, I, I don't do it as much as I used to, but I would use these if I was diving. 
too. Oh yeah. Yeah, like if I was scuba diving or snorkeling or whatever, you, you know, grabbing shells and things right. like that because you still have that tactile feel. Exactly. We used to go spear fishing on my with my dad when we were oh, kids. Oh, I gotta so hang with you some more. Yeah, we used to always wear gloves, and I wish I had these back then. Anyway, grab these uh, $14.99. Bobby, we got about a minute left. You want to okay. kind of wrap yeah, yeah. this all up, buddy? So again, if you're just joining us for last minute, this is our Sun Joe chainsaw. It comes to you in the handheld, but you also get it in the pole. That's why I feel like it's like almost a two for one. Get it going. You can get up to four and a half inch in diameter in your cuts. You're going to get a nice, clean, consistent cut each and every time. I just did a branch there. If you've got down branches, if you've got big, strong shrubs you need to get through, or even like I'm doing right here live, this is our two by four. You can cut through it that quickly. It's battery operated. It's battery powered with our Sunjo 24 volt lithium ion battery. So no gas, no cords, no extension cord. Really what this is, is peace of mind. This is yeah. gonna give you the confidence and the ability to do anything that you need to do in and around your home with your chainsaw. I love it, love it, love it. Great job yep, as always, absolutely. my man. Bobby Thanks, Milliken, everybody. Uh, we'll have this product as soon as we can get it back. I know it's gonna sell out again, but we'll get it back as soon as we can. Thank you, buddy, it was good to see you. All right, uh, listen, um, I will be back on Tuesday. Now that's tasty, 4 p.m. Hey, 4 p.m. Eastern you time. I actually have two hours. Yes. Go ahead, you can ask me, it's the mailbox. I'll be back on Tuesday, I'll see you then. Hey, question of the day was, <clears throat> if you could grow something that you could eat, what would it be? $25, let's see who our winner is today. Greg E, my man, Greg. He said, I'm a guy in the garden. If I had one edible plant to grow in the garden, it would be grapes <laughs> for good wine. Good for wine and good for jam as well. Greg, thanks, buddy. Uh, so good to uh, have a uh, great show with you guys today. I'll see you all Tuesday. Stay tuned. The beautiful and talented Alice Crone coming your way next.